Welcome back to the broadcast. So glad you're with us this morning. Um, so you know how we're always talking about uh, baby names, all the celebrities are naming their babies, mm -hmm. these crazy names. Um, I want you to take a guess at the, the top baby names for a girl and a boy this year so far. Celebrities or just in just general? Just in general. This is from Nameberry. It's a, a Luther. No. <laughs> I would say Ava, Isabel, or Isabella, um, Olivia maybe. I can already tell you're not going to get it. Okay, I'm not going to get it. <laughs> Help me. The top name for a girl is Imogen. I That's M -M -O -G. No, no, no. I-M-O-G-E-N. And so there's two pronunciations. Sometimes it's Imogene. Sometimes it's Imogen. Imogen. Wait, Imogen. okay, so is For that in terms of popularity or it's, it's, it just was voted as the best name? Popularity. popularity. I've never heard that name. Have you, do, have yes, you heard that? Yes, there was Emma Jean Coca. She was a famous actress no, that worked with Sid Caesar. You're saying Emma Jean. Well, but she spelled her name I M O G E N E. Okay. And her name was, when she didn't say I'm a gene, she said I'm Imogene Coca. Imogene. Mm -hmm. um, so I've this is without it. the E, so they're saying Imogen or maybe mm -hmm. Imogene. Um, and then for boys, it's Asher. I've heard Asher oh, before. Oh, I haven't. My nephew's Asher. Yeah. And I love that. And it means um, something rising from the dust or something like that, I believe, right? I'm Doesn't not sure it what in, it means. I know it's a cut of a diamond. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I know about it. <laughs> no, no I have a friend who named his little boy. There's a biblical boy. root to it as well, and I wish I knew the story behind well, it. Well, there, yes. there was a biblical char character named Asher, there was. wasn't mm -hmm. there? And somebody, and, and the there's Asher Kuchner. Uh, <laughs> Ashton. <laughs> Ashton. <laughs> Close, but I was going to tell you some of the other names. This is what I think is so interesting. Are um, are based on like um, oh, what's what's the the what? catching fire? What's the what's the um, help me? Hunger Games. Hunger Thank Games. You. Gosh, yeah. good. Um, are based on the Hunger Games on Twilight. So like from Twilight, the name Renesme is popular for girls. Oh, you're that's a great me. one for people to spell. Right? Yeah. And, and it's so interesting because uh, listening to So the um, Twihards are a birthing age now. <laughs> isn't that upsetting? <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have the a lot of Edwards walking around. And but um, uh, another one for girls is um, Charlotte is a big one. So that's okay. a, a, a quote-unquote normal name. And Claire, there is Elizabeth. this kind of going back, Lisa, to the older names. Mm -hmm. um, I, my daughter is Ava Grace. We just mm -hmm. named her that. I loved Vivian as an option. My husband didn't like it. He thought it sounded old. Like an old lady name? Yeah, but I think Vivian, I think it's a yeah, super like chic an old name. Lady name. But there's this kind like of Suzanne. Term. That's know, an old lady name. No, like That's names not. from the 1800s, yeah, truly, like, like a Hazel. I have mm -hmm. a girlfriend that named her daughter Hazel, which is a beautiful name, an older name. Or Beverly. Beverly Another as well. One. I think it's really pretty. Yeah, so. I think we need to talk about George Clooney. He was broken up with his girlfriend. I always like.